Hello, 7th graders. Today we're going to light the Bunsen burner and learn how to do that safely. So the first thing is safety, of course. So you're going to want to put on your safety glasses. Also, if you have long sleeves, pull them up. And if you have long hair, pull it back behind your head or tie it back. Go ahead and do that now. And pause the video if you need to. Alright, next thing you need to do is connect the Bunsen burner so it can be lit. So you're going to want to take off this tennis ball. Don't throw it though. And connect the hose to the valve on the other end. Connect to the burner. Oh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So I'll definitely use two. Alright. Now that it is securely connected to both ends, you can turn the valve. Make sure the valve here is all the way turned to the right so no gas will escape when you turn on the other one. All right, now that is done. The next thing to do is get ready to light the burner. So what you want to do is turn on the gas here, parallel all the way like that. Now gas is flowing all the way through here until it gets to here. The next thing you want to do is turn on this valve, loosen it up to hear and feel a slight breeze coming out of the burner. Next thing you do, grab your striker, turn it to the side a little bit next to the Burner, push down and across until you have the light. And once it's lit, you can adjust it here or you can adjust it over here. Now that it's lit, you can do what you need to do with the burner in your experiment. When you're ready to turn it off, you can go ahead and just turn off the valve here. Oh, wrong way. Turn it off there. And it's off, and then you can turn the gas off there. All right, good luck.